Yeah. Uh, so how did the name Aze come back? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean, good evening and good evening to everyone uh, hearing my voice. I'm so happy that uh, you've invited me. Yeah, it's been a while. You know, we started talking about this uh, quite some time, but uh, we haven't had the opportunity to meet. But uh, God's time is the best, and I think this is the time. Uh, so we thank God for everything. I wanted to use my laptop, but I was struggling with uh, my microphone. So I'm using my phone and I hope that everyone will hear me and see my ugly face as well. <laughs> Your handsome face. <laughs> yeah, so mm -hmm. as they... Um, well, my real name is Emmanuel Asako. Um, my father gave me uh, Kofi Gameli Asako without uh, an English, you know, name. Uh, so my original baptism was Kofi Gameli, and um, I got to Nesri. And uh, one of the teachers, you know, saw me and then said that, no, you will be called Emmanuel <laughs> instead of Kofi Gameli. So I think she wrote a, a note for me to send home. And uh, eventually uh, my parents adopted it. I think... Uh, they found it good, and so they adopted it. And then uh, along the line, you know, I was given Emmanuel. And when I got to the university, um, and I'm, I'm born in Takwa, I was born in Takwa and grew up in Takwa. So uh, Takwa and Takrade, when someone calls you or if you don't know somebody, you are calling that person, you know, usually as they, how are you? Are they acquiring? Are they area area then? Uh -huh. So when I got to the university, anybody who I I see and I don't know the name, you know, I will call the person Aze. Or to then Aze. So it was like it sounded good in a lot of people's ears. And um, one of my mentors, uh, which I will mention as we go along. Uh, Jerry John, uh, Prof. Uh, Jerry John Konyo, decided to now call me Aze. And so everyone, it became the, the lovely name on campus. And everyone calls me Aze on KNUSD campus in the renewal fraternity. So even my real name, got, you know, missed out on campus. So that is how it comes. So other people thought that I'm called Isaac, but I'm Emmanuel. <laughs> As a, you know, when I put out the adverts, you know, people started responding to that. Then I realized, hey, they don't even know Emmanuel. <laughs> they want the Aze. They, I should have put the Aze on the poster. That's why I started from that end. <laughs> yes. Uh, nice, nice. So you've told us your name, wonderful. And then now the nickname we, we get to. So permit me, the rest of us uh, who are on, if I refer to him as Aze, you know that the name is Emmanuel. Asako, <laughs> Emmanuel Kofi Gameli Asako. Correct. For tonight, uh, we may call him Aze or <laughs> engineer or one of those names, but the most popular one for now and for this interview, don't be scared. Is Aze, Aze, <laughs> man Aze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. So you were born at Takwa. Yeah. And grew up in Takwa. So how, oh, wow, 
What about schooling? Where did you start from? The primary school where they gave you that name. Imam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a Roman Catholic uh, school um, in Takwa. Um, started nursery in that school uh, through primary, Roman Catholic primary boys. Mm -hmm. And um, went to um, JHS, the same school. And so all my life was in Takwa. So my primary JHS is all in uh, uh, Catholic school in Takwa. Um, from there, I think um, from there, my, my dad passed just a week after um, JHS mm -hmm. my exams and so it was a, it was a difficult moment at that time um, for the family and so I had to join one of my brothers um, to Nigeria to continue my education there so um, I went to Lagos Badagri to actually start my SS there. So I went to SS1 over there, but uh, for some reason, uh, family reason, I had to come back again to Ghana uh, to attend um, Takwa Secondary School. And so that is where I completed you know, my SS education as well. So it's been Takwa base. Yeah, yeah, really Takwa bread. May that be so rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Now, so from secondary, then you went to the university, KNUSC. Yes. Exactly. You should have come to Legon. I don't know why <laughs> you, you <laughs> went to tech. <laughs> I think How did you study at Tech? <laughs> yeah, so it was it was more. I love engineering. I mean, I love mathematics. So I think I was more, you know, looking forward to have an engineering course. I didn't do biology, so uh, you know, uh, Legon is not offering an engineering course, so. And I was hoping that I get either UMAT or KNUST, you know, to pursue an engineering course. So that is why I chose there. And fortunately, I was offered uh, metallurgical engineering mm. or mineral processing and engineering. So that was the course I did. So, and I think it's because... Takwa is a gold city. Uh, my senior brother was working there. My uncles, you know, a lot of them were working in the mining. And so I think I was more encouraged to want to study a related course in mining. Mm. And, and that is why I, I selected that course. And so... Uh, Afterwards, then you moved straight into work? Yes. So just after um, the degree, I was given the opportunity to be a TA, but okay. uh, I, I said no, I wanted the industry. So um, I had opportunity of... Um, having my national um, service with Goldfields, Ghana Limited uh, mm -hmm. in Takwa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So after one year service with Goldfields, you know, I came home for about three months looking for a job. And uh, God willing, I was called back in to uh, work with Goldfields. 
you know, as, as an operator. So I was with Gofields um, for, for one year, you know, mm. as an operator. In fact, I, it wasn't an easy, easy, easy time with Gofields because, you know, you, you came out as a, um, a degree holder, your other colleague uh, in other departments, the geology, the mining department are all, you know, senior staff. They were employed as senior staff, but you begin with uh, an operator uh, on the short floor. And so it was a, a difficult moment, but uh, I think I had an internal motivation that really propelled me mm. through, you know, learning all that I I can learn on the field, uh, you know, every, every processes, every circuit, uh, you know, learning everything. And I think it's, it's really helping me now uh, mm -hmm. in my leadership role um, at the moment. So it was, it was good. And so after one year, I, we had that, uh, uh, um, an American company has come to town around 2006 mm. and they were in Takwa, you know, trying to recruit people uh, into their company. And then we, we I also applied, uh, went through the, um, the test and interviews and so on and so forth. And eventually I was picked still as a technician, a junior staff. It was a difficult time, you know, to, to decide either to go or not. Uh, because the, the difference in salary wasn't much. Uh, it was similar role that I'm going to play there. So it was a difficult one. Very disappointing when I got my employment letter. But then I had to, I had to move. I think because there was once um, an American company, Tebre Bay, uh, who really performed very well and took care of his people. I thought that, and it's a new mine. There will be more opportunity for me, and so I went there. And fortunately, by God's grace, I have you know, move through the ranks and now the superintendent in my department. So it's been a good journey. <laughs> Wonderful. So so you've gone you've gone through the the ranks like that. How many years have you after Gofields? You did how many years at Gofields and now how many years at Newmont? So Together with my service, I did uh, two years, but almost two and a half years with Gofields. Okay. And now with, with Newmont, um, 17 years mm -hmm. from, from 2006, yes, I have been with Newmont. Okay. So, so you have some gold. Uh, converted to cash, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. After 17, almost 20 years, you should have some bar of gold in your house. Next time I visit, you you just show me. You you can just remove small and, <laughs> and show it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a bar of gold. Some, oh. some people have worked in a mining company for... For several years, and and they haven't even spotted gold. They haven't seen one, you know. Yeah. So, but you you are it's, man it's, it's not for you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you as it. so as it, you are now, your connection should be hard. Even 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 the uh, I should say uh, the. Uh, the government of Ghana mm -hmm. is, is yet to, to, to trade in, in, in gold, right? 
<laughs> Otherwise, everything move, move outside. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes I feel that we came too late. You know, if we were born earlier, we would have been trading with gold coins and, and some of these things will be familiar with how it feels, you know, <laughs> using gold as, as people of the Gold Coast. But that yeah. is fine. Yeah, we thank God. So yeah. in the course of these years, then you went on to do your master's? Yes. So I... I did my master's, uh, you know, I completed around 2004. That is my um, uh, degree, first degree. First degree, yeah. And then, yeah, first degree. And then um, 2016, I enrolled to do MBA okay. uh, in finance. So, yeah, in, in 2018, I, I completed the course, yeah. Mm. And then you also took a liking for counseling. Yes, and then um, as my, my passion drives me to really help people, to share my knowledge, my experiences with people, I decided, you know, I've been helping people, um, you know, marriage and family life has become, has become my interest uh, through a dumb family and my engagement with, with, uh, with newly couples. I thought that, uh, I should seek some more education and knowledge in counseling to be more professional in offering um, help and support to people. I, and so I enrolled with the uh, um, CPP, College of Counseling and Psychology uh, to also formally get certification to be able to professionally support people who are in crisis and who are in difficulty because that is one of my passion awesome. um, to, to see people being comfortable and peaceful in life. So mm -hmm. I decided to uh, go through that education and uh, I, I, I completed my final exams I, uh, last week and so ready for graduation very soon. Congratulations, so <laughs> we thank God. Thank you. Nice, we thank God for your life. Yes. So um, please, if you are on and you are listening, the, the man is going to graduate soon. And if you need any counseling uh, relating to marriage and family life, engineer is available. He's available to help and to assist you to, to have that peaceful life. And uh, so I'll be, I'll be acting as his manager. Once you are ready, you contact me. I'll <laughs> link you up. And then, uh, you know, if there's commission in it, I'll get my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so you you've done um, in the engineering side. You've done a, the professional aspect, or how is the how is the journey on that route like? Yes. So, for the engineering side. Um, I, 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 I also am a member of uh, Ghana Institute of Engineers. Okay. And then as well as um, um, uh, mining and minerals um, institution body. 
uh, USA as as a, as a member mm. as as well. So I mean, these are these are two bodies. I mean, we have other bodies that one can join, uh, but these are the two associations that I I, I have joined, um, trying to improve my my professional uh, career. Yeah, and then trying to also write a lot of uh, uh, papers uh, for presentation at, at conferences. Um, mm. Hopefully, um, this year I'm, I'm, I'm also writing a paper in one of the expansion that uh, we did um, on, on, on our site and will be presented uh, in a in a in a, a global conference in Canada, we call it SAG conference. So hopefully, if all things go well, uh, later this year I should be presenting that paper. Nice, wonderful, <laughs> interesting. 